We can't both escape. It wouldn't let us, boy. Lock your doors. On the night before Christmas. Please, make sure you lock everybody in their rooms on the night before Christmas. It is very important for everybody's health. The name Santa Claus came from Saint Nicholas. In Dutch, that would be Saint Nicholas, and that's where Santa Claus got his name. I can personally attest to the fact that this is false. My father was paranoid. Very paranoid. He was also a little crazy. Maybe more than just a little. We lived in a neighborhood surrounded by trees in the mountains. Growing up, our house had cameras facing every single angle of our property. Not just regular cameras either, night vision and infrared. The night vision just made everything look gray, but the infrared was blue, and any heat signatures gave off an orange glow. I know this, because he had given me access to the cameras and I frequently viewed them from my computer. Over the years, I have seen some weird things on these cameras. But that's a story for another time. The weirdest thing growing up was Christmas. The holiday itself wasn't weird, we got a Christmas tree, had presents, all the normal things. The weird part was the night before. My dad loves his cameras. We had them on 24-7, 364 days per year. You must be confused, there's 365 days in a year. You're correct. Every year on the night before Christmas, my dad would turn off every single camera. Weird thing is, this wasn't just my dad. The other houses in the neighborhood didn't have cameras or anything fancy, but some of my friends told me that they weren't allowed to leave their room either on that night. Anyway, on the night before Christmas, after we laid out the cookies and milk, my dad would make me go to bed early. There was a lock on the outside of my door. My dad was never abusive towards me, but on the night before Christmas he would always lock me in my room. Despite being paranoid and crazy, my dad was the nicest man I've ever known. The only time he ever scared me was how serious he got on the night before Christmas. Dylan. Do not leave this ducking room. Yeah understand me? I'll let you run around the neighborhood with your little friends doing whatever the hell yeah you'll damn well please every single day. I'll let you stay on that computer for hours searching up god knows what, probably chocking ya yeah chicken the entire day. The only the one thing I ask of ya yeah is do not leave ya yeah room on this night. Capis? My dad had shown me hundreds of missing persons reports. Every time I questioned this little tradition of his, he would have 20 ready to show. All of these missing people had been missing on a December 26th, day after Christmas, spanning back years. Each of these reports had a circumstance of disappearance section that explained what the person had done shortly before their disappearance, and none of it seemed to have anything to do with Christmas. Each one was completely random. But he said that they purposely changed it so that nobody ever finds out what really happened. He would never tell me what really happened. Just another one of his conspiracy theories. Yeah dad, I know. You tell me the same thing every year, I know. 14 year old me replied with attitude. Alright then. I don't want ya to be another statistic. You mean statistic? I smirked. Yes boy. I don't want you to become a statistic. You saw all those missing person reports I showed ya. All those people gone missing on December 26th. Day after Christmas. Every year. That ain't gone be my boy. He said as he walked out of my room. He was so paranoid, did he think Santa was going to kidnap me? Santa isn't even real. After he walked out of my room I heard a click as he set the lock outside my door. I heard his footsteps protrude away as I turned over to my computer that displayed our camera footage. I counted down 3, 2, 1, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 and boom, just like that the camera footage shut off and displayed no feed connected. I felt like a psychic for being able to accurately predict the exact time it would shut off. Good night boy. My dad shouted across the hall from his room. Good night. I shouted back. I hated this tradition. 
I loved going downstairs to eat junk food in the middle of the night and I loved checking the camera to get a glance at the weird things I saw in the woods from time to time. But on this night every year, I couldn't go downstairs to eat junk food and I couldn't bring it upstairs either, no food was allowed in my room. And all that, just because of my dad's paranoia. Every year until this day, I just listened to my dad. After he shut off the camera footage and locked me in my room, I would usually just accept it and go to sleep. For some reason I just couldn't sleep, so despite my dad's wishes I stayed up playing computer games. Around 2am, I heard something on our roof. There were a lot of animals and other things in those woods, so this was a pretty common occurrence. But the sound I heard this time just sounded different. It sounded like something landed. Oh oh killer Santa must be here. I joked to myself as I continued playing my computer game. Shortly after the thud on the rooftop, I started hearing heavy footsteps followed up by our floorboards creaking downstairs. Goosebumps formed on my body and my breathing got a bit more frantic as I worked up a sweat. What the duck is that? I thought to myself. Then, I got a thought, that would prove to be the worst decision I've ever made in my life. I got onto the application, that controls the cameras. I looked over the button, that would reactivate the cameras, and hovered my cursor over it. What if it's an intruder? I tried convincing myself. I took a deep breath, that was followed by a loud gulp, then I clicked activate. The night vision cameras switched on. There were almost 50 boxes on my screen, each one blinking on separately. After a few seconds, they were all on. I had my eyes peeled looking at each box seeing nothing out of the ordinary. That's until I saw the living room camera. Standing in front of our dining room table, next to the Christmas tree, was a big overweight man in a Santa suit. He had a long beard and glasses. It was the textbook definition of what Santa looked like. My eyes were wide, and filled with astonishment as an equal mix of excitement and fear filled my brain. It was exciting, but it's just weird. And it's even more weird, that I can't go downstairs. What would Santa do to me if I did? As I was staring at the screen, staring at Santa eating cookies, I noticed that his hand froze right in front of his mouth. I saw him slowly lower the cookie back onto the plate. He turned around, and looked directly into the camera. He slowly brought his hand up in front of him, and wagged his finger side to side. He knew I was watching him. When he did this, I slammed my hands onto the desk to boost me up, so I can dive into my bed, and pretend to be asleep. I accidentally made contact with my keyboard, causing the camera to switch from night vision to infrared. What I saw on the camera wasn't Santa anymore. It was a big fat creature with no clothes on. Its mouth was wide open, and it looked like it had a broken and attached jaw. Had large oval eyes, that had nothing in them. It had rows of large, razor sharp teeth in its mouth. The creature was tall and its arms were long and deformed. At the edge of its arms were hands with sharp claws that replaced its fingers. Dad. I screamed. Instantly after, I heard footsteps shuffling to my room. What did yaddy boy? Why are you still awake? He yelled as he unlocked the door, and ran into my room. He looked at my computer, and saw the camera footage on. I was on my bed crying. Suddenly I could hear a heavy thud on our staircase. Oh you stupid son of a b asterisk tch. You stupid stupid little boy. What have ya done? He said as my crying became hysteric. He sat down next to me, hugged me so tightly, as if it's the last time I'll ever feel his hug, and he whispered, I love you boy, don't be scared, ain't nothing gonna happen to ya, he said as we heard another thud coming from our staircase, the footsteps were so heavy, that there was dust coming down from my ceiling, thud, I don't know, if you's gonna see me again boy, but I want ya to always remember what I taught ya, thud. Why wouldn't I see you again dad? What's going to happen? Thud. We can't both escape. It wouldn't let us boy. Thud. Dad I love you. I don't want you to leave I sobbed back. Thud. My dad got up and opened the window. 
We were on the second floor. He picked me up. Thud. Kissed me on the cheek as a tear ran down his. Thud. He threw me out of the second story window. I landed in some bushes below our house. I don't know if I was injured or not. I had too much adrenaline coursing through my veins. Run boy. He screamed as the thuds got faster. I took off running through the woods when I heard the most disturbing, blood curling scream I've ever heard in my entire life. I just kept running until I couldn't hear the screams anymore. I had kept running until I tired myself out. Fell asleep under a tree. I returned to the house the following morning of the 26th. There was no sign of any struggle, no blood, nothing. My dad was just gone. I checked the cameras, the footage was gone. Looking through the recordings, it was just blank for the entire night. That was many many years ago. Now I'm a father and I have my own kids. I have kept my dad's tradition alive every night before Christmas. I don't know if that thing was isolated to my neighborhood, or if that's what Santa is for everybody. All I know is, I'm not going to risk finding out. So with all of that said please, lock all of your doors on the night before Christmas. The next time you're awake during that night and you hear noises in your house, I suggest you stay in bed and keep your eyes closed. Don't get up, don't investigate, don't be a curious little ducker like I was. The last thing I'll leave you with is, you better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He knows when you are sleeping. And he knows when you're awake. But he doesn't care if you've been bad or good. So don't go looking for him. For your own sake. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. For more videos.